Seven at the wire, driving through to 60. Now. Jossie Carter, welcome to the Illinois game. Hope to show y'all something good. Good doesn't describe it. Electrifyingly memorable is more like it. Guys stepping up at different points of the game. Beating the first place team in the Big Ten and the sixth ranked team in the country is a tough enough task, but try doing it without the blood and guts of the team. When senior Titus Ivory went down with a badly sprained ankle in the first half, it appeared that Penn State's upset hopes hobbled off the court with him. At that time, I didn't feel as if we were going to be able to have him in the second. But, you know, he's a tough kid. He's a very tough kid, and uh, he's a heart and soul of this team. But there is other heart and other soul. And without Ivory, the Nittany Lions whittled a 13-point deficit into just four by halftime. A corner jump for three. Gone! Fading away in the far corner, and Joe Crispin cuts it down to seven. And when Titus completed the simple act of reporting to the scorer's table in the second half, there wasn't much doubt that the Lions were going to come roaring all the way back. Titus just so, showed such toughness. It was, it was unreal. It was just great. We're just like, all right, this is our game. And it kind of it really gave us confidence. Hey, you know, we're going to win this game. You know, we got Titus back in the game. We let him go. We let him. We cleared out for him. You said, Titus, do your thing. And he took care of it. It was great. of the Nittany Lions fed off of his leadership and made their own paths, bringing out the best of an already strong group as together they pulled off one of the biggest wins in the history of the Jordan Center, avenging their worst defeat of the season only 11 days earlier to the same Illinois team. Um, they did the thing to us out there. They really embarrassed us out there, and uh, I think we took a lot of pride in coming out here in front of our fans in front of our families and friends and uh, not letting that happen again. And uh, we did a great job, I think, play Penn State basketball. Penn State basketball. For the fourth consecutive season, the Nittany Lions beat a top 10 team, once again making it a very happy valley. from now on a cold winter's night the grandkids are gonna hear about this one <laughs>